What up, man? It's your boy, P-U-J-O, Urban Syndicate Armory, Black Aces Tactical. This is a gun review. Big Syndicate. Yeah, man, before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to go to that little tab that says subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, you know what I'm saying? Get in the comment section. Like this content. If you do, share it. You know what I'm saying? Let them know the type of fly stuff y'all seeing, man. Y'all witnessing on this channel, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, let's get into it. It's your boy, P-U-J-O, Black Aces Tactical, FD-12. You know what I'm saying? Get a good look at that. Probably a little dirty. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this for all the people out there need to see. This is an unloaded firearm. Alright. Let's put that back in there for visual aesthetic. Look real good with that 10 round in there, don't it? Yeah. So this is a FD12. This is a bullpup shotgun. Um, made by Black Aces Tactical. I think it's a company out of Florida, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they make these type of firearms. Um, it's other companies out there, manufacturers, who manufacture this type of uh, 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 firearm, this style of firearm, the bullpup style. Shotguns, you can get them in different variations. You can get a 12 gauge AK these days. You can get a 12 gauge AR these days. <clears throat> This bullpup, I thought it was really ill looking uh, firearm. You know what I'm saying? I wanted it myself for a uh, home defense truck gun, something like that was my intentions, was my thoughts of this firearm before I had purchased it. Um, so let's get into some of the things, features that it has. So it has a barrel shroud. That is a barrel shroud right there. It's not a muzzle device. It's no kind of silence or anything like that. It's just a barrel shroud. That's all it is. Just covers up your barrel and hold down your upper from coming, coming apart you know, breaking down um it comes with quad rails meaning it has a quad rail system here it has an upper or top rail on the top you have two side rails and there's a rail picatinny rail on the bottom also uh for you to put your various devices or attachments that you may want to put on this firearm um going back this is a ambidextrous firearm meaning you have a safety here, and you also have a safety there on the other side. You can see that. Boom. Two safety, safeties on both sides. You got your mag release here, and also here on this side. Um, you got your your uh, bolt hole or bolt release, whatever you call it. There. Um, it's really smooth, really nice. All this stuff functions really nice. Your charging handle. You can also take from your left side, like an, um, you, you know, like a AK or something. You, you put it on the other side, like an AK. It depends on what you what you're comfortable with. They also have left-handed versions of this firearm, where the ejection port is on the left-handed side um, for people that are left-handed shooters. So that's pretty convenient. Um, it has this real good rubberized um, grip here really nice rubberized grip it has their logo also on it oh, logo all over this thing their logos are everywhere um but this grip also it feels so good it made me want to change a lot of the grips on my other firearms um you know you get to thinking your hands get sweaty or something like that you out with it and you get to firing you don't want it slipping out your hands right that's that um it has a few sling points here it has a sling 
point, one point sling here, point, and also has some others on the firearm, but I'll get into that later. Um, it's a really smooth trigger. Um, the wall is about right there. Put that on fire. Wall is right there. Boom. Cool reset. Yeah, initial fire is good. Um, feels good in your hands. Uh, it, it also, it comes with like, in the box, the box is a really nice box. The box was nicer than most boxes I've had for firearms I've spent twice uh, as much on. That box is really nice. It came with like a set of chokes here. Set of chokes. Um, it also came with like these five round, it had two five round mags came with. Um, and they were cool, five rounds cool. I prefer something bigger. 10, you can put a drum mag in this also. I think, I um, can't remember the name of the company. They don't pay us so hell. Whatever, name of the company, they, they make 12 rounders, 20 rounders for this firearm that you can also put in here. But it feels a little weird when you put a 20 round drum in the back of this and your arm, the way it sits, you know, you have to, you kind of gonna be out like this. So, you know, a lot of people ask that also. I, I get a lot of questions about this firearm because uh, I guess a lot of people are interested in something like this. Um, but yeah, got a drum. It was a little too big, a little too uncomfortable for me, preferably. So I took it off. Uh, um, I, I don't, I rarely use it. Um, it came with a nice little vertical foregrip on this thing. Uh, the Black Aces foregrip, it had his brand on it. It was nice. Um, you can't put a vertical foregrip on this thing. Someone may think this uh, the other barrel is too short. You can't put a vertical foregrip on it. Um, I'm not sure what the laws are in every state in Georgia. If it's over 16 inches, I, I um, think you can put a vertical foregrip on. Uh, um, it's considered, you know, full full length barrel. So because this is a bull pup and the loading and um, firing mechanism are behind the trigger uh it causes the barrel to be a little bit longer so your barrel actually isn't stopping here it's stopping about back here you know what i'm saying um but yeah i changed that that vertical foregrip out put a light laser nice light laser combo on here um keep it all in one package didn't want to put too many things on it like I didn't want a laser hanging out the side, optics, flashlight, stuff like that. Cause I'm figuring home defense, I want to be able to, you know, get through my hallways, move around however I may need to be without something possibly getting snagged. So I just put some UTG rail covers on it. Kept it nice and uh, simple. Put me some iron sights on there. Um, cool little iron sights. Yeah, kept it simple. Didn't do anything else. Add 10 round mag, man. You know, get you a good sling. I was ready to go. Fire this thing. You have to go and train and fire these things because they do have break-in periods, uh, meaning it, it, it has a threshold to how many rounds that you have to put into it for it to, um, you know, ease up the firing mechanism, so forth, so on. Um, so yeah, broke it in fire no problem the upper is an aluminum this is an aluminum upper and it is a like a polymer lower uh, pretty simple to take down um, it has two pins two pins one here one here pull those out pull you pull your charging handle off unscrew your barrel trial boom everything slides off pretty pretty simple um, and yeah man this is really nice firearm is really nice uh, uh, but we get into the issues that I've come into with this a lot of things I ran into so uh, initially the first bullpup FD12 that I had got the firing pins had some kind of way walked out of the receiver leaving my trigger just hanging on in there I could actually rack around, but I couldn't, I could fire it, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you know, I couldn't 
cycle another shot in. Wouldn't never cycle another shot. One racket, shoot it, that was it. So send it back to them because of course I can't find parts for this. You can't find anything for this rarely just sitting around for you to repair these type of things. So good thing I had a warranty. <coughs> Send it back to Black Aces Tactical with a little finessing. Had a little finagling to do to get in touch with them. Uh, finally did it. Got correspondence. Um, they sent me another one back with the trigger fine. But then I was having issues with it actually firing after that. Um, after I looked at it and broke it down, found out that my barrel nut is wasn't holding the barrel down so it was actually stripped so it, i had to send it back again they end up sending me a whole nother uh firearm end up sending a whole nother firearm back and uh now this one the issues that i'm running into the pins aren't popping out the barrel is on there real good but now my sling like little metal on the inside of where my slings are see it's still some there there's none on the other side you can see uh, there's none there they popped out they actually screwed themselves out popped out uh at, at the range i thought that was kind of weird that sucks I, I still had the pieces i can guess i could screw it back in there with some lock tight or something i don't know but um yeah you have to be looking out for things like that um so my advice to anyone who would have who would have purchased this particular firearm, uh, watch out for the trigger pins. Look out for these pins. Uh, make sure they don't come out or anything. And if you shoot this with with slugs, make sure you take your choke off of it. If you don't know, take your chokes off of it. Then you can fire it with slugs, no problem. I run a lot of bird shot through this. Um, keep it clean and. You know, you shouldn't have any issues, possibly. Don't know what, what the issue was with those two firearms. Maybe I got duds. I don't know. Um, haven't had an issue since then with this one. Have been taking this to the range religiously. Uh, it gets a lot of work. Um, and haven't had any issues with it since then. So, you know, um, I think it's a good firearm. I noticed in the video that we did, the preview video that we did, um, it didn't hold back on the last round. This is a feat that is a feature of this firearm. It has last round hold back. Um, it didn't do that in the video. Not sure why. Maybe because I had one of these one of these mags. Um, uh, maybe because uh, you know who knows. I don't know. Another thing about this firearm is you have to actually get behind this when you're firing it. You have to get behind it and fire it firmly. Pull it in, fire it firmly. Don't let it push you back because I guess they call that limp wristed. Don't limp, limp wrist it because you will, it will not feed and cycle properly. It just will not. This is not made to be shooting with one hand, under your, under your legs, backwards, flipping. Put it up to your shoulder, pull it in tight, get behind this firearm, fire it. This is a firearm. You gotta treat it like it's a part of your body, right? This is the fire part of your body. Your fire arm. Get your training on. Get out there. Learn your weapon, how it behaves, how it works with you, you know. Um, and you'll be okay, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is Black Aces Tactical uh, FD12 Bullpup 12 gauge shotgun, 12 gauge. <laughs> hey, check that out. Oh. Jeez. Damn. We getting kicked out, bro. Man, they putting us out this one, bro. We getting kicked out. See, man, that's fucking why. Big city. <laughs>